Let's go party. Good girl. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa Nicole and this right here is my eight month old Australian Shepherd Big Stretch. You're so sleepy. This is the longest stretch in the whole wide world. But her name is Freya. Oh my goodness. Oh. <laughs> And if you're new to my channel, I've had Freya here since she was eight weeks old. I've made videos on like what we bought her as a puppy, bringing her home at eight weeks. And since then I've been doing monthly pup date videos for you guys, mainly so that I could look back on how teeny tiny she was and how big she's getting and how much she's growing and learning and now going through like regression and fear phases. So I make them for myself, but also to help you guys as much as possible. And I've just been getting so many comments throughout all of these months on how we taught her to do X trick or X command. And you guys are just dying to know. So I've decided to take my pup date videos one step further and to do also training videos. I feel like one of the top training questions I've been getting asked since she was, you know, eight weeks old is how we trained her to ring the bell to let us know that she had to go potty. I think that is one of my favorite things that I have ever taught her because it is the most useful thing that I have ever taught her. It took her about a week to get the concept down, but probably about a month for me to trust her wholeheartedly to actually ring the bell every time she needed to go potty. And we started from day one of her being eight weeks old, but if you're not starting from day one at eight weeks old, that is okay. I'm just gonna basically walk you through how we taught her to do that. I of course wanna throw in there that I am not a dog trainer, I'm not a certified dog trainer, but I did train my dog. So my videos here every week are mainly just to help you know how we did it, but there are thousands and hundreds of ways to do everything that we're gonna have videos on. This is just what worked for us and the tips that I have or the things that have really helped me out with teaching her certain commands. Before we dive in, of course you're gonna need Excuse me. Before we dive in, the things that you will need is of course bells or some sort of a bell. I got these off of Amazon. I will link them down below in case you guys are interested. You can do this with anything if you're wanting to trade out the bells. Bells for us is the easiest thing and it's the loudest thing that we can hear if she really needs to go. You can use a buzzer. You can use a bell. You can use a button that they have to press. You can use whatever. The concept of how you teach them to use it is going to be the same. You're of course gonna need some treats. I have a handful here of Zook's minis. These are like my favorite training treats. So you can use, again, whatever you like, whatever your dog loves. And of course, you're gonna need your doggo. And Freya is right here ready to <laughs> teach you guys how she learned to ring the bell, mainly for some treats. You just want these, don't you? You don't even want to help the people. You just want treatos. Can I have a kiss? Thank you so much. I'll give you a treat for that one. <laughs> <laughs> this entire video is gonna be a weird angle of my front door that's pretty bare and boring to look at, but I'm sorry, this is of course <laughs> where we keep the bells. My first trick to this is to have your bells next to the door on like a command hook or something. When we started out, we had it on our door handle, except she would ring the bell and then even when we'd go to open it, it would just ring obnoxiously and especially at eight weeks old when we were taking her out so much. So a subscriber actually, thank you to you, told me to just hang them next to the door on a command hook. That way they're only ringing whenever she wants them to ring. Best tip that I have, because now they're just, yeah, not going all the time. So command hook, save your life. What's gonna be funny about this video is that Freya already knows how to do this. So me showing you how we taught her is gonna look really funny with, you know, like a big dog, because it is easier to do with a puppy because they're like four pounds. But again, you can teach this at any age with your dog. It's really, really simple. You just have to be consistent. So I'm gonna go through basically how we did it. And then at the end, I'll give you like my four top rules to make sure that this sticks and what made it actually work for us really, really well. So how we taught Freya at eight weeks old was that we would take her tiny little body. Freya, come here. And every time we would go to take her potty, her treats are sitting on the floor right there. You leave those alone. And every single time we would take her potty as a tiny, tiny puppy, which was like every hour, we would do this. And we would take her up to the bells and we would say... <laughs> Knows. Good girl. And we would say, let's go potty. And then we would boop her snoot on it, whether that's like moving her towards the bells, whether that's using her paw to kind of hit it, whatever you would like your dog to do. We focused on her snoot mainly because we knew that she was gonna be a big er dog and we didn't want her getting in the habit of scratching the wall or the door because we rent places. And so we don't wanna like mess up any kind of the framing or the walls or anything like that. So we focused on taking her body and just literally like booping her snoot on the bells. Every single time we take her potty. The important part is that we at least used a cue, which I think has been the most helpful for her to connect the dots by saying, let's go potty, ring the bell. And when she would ring the bell, even at eight weeks, and even if she didn't ring the bell, but we rang the bell for her, we made a huge deal about it. Yay, good girl, let's go potty. Let's go outside. Yay, let's go potty. 
In the beginning, I would say for the first like week of her being eight weeks, we gave her a treat. Every time she would ring the bell and then we would pick her up and take her outside to go potty. And when she did go potty, we'd again connect those dots with the cue and say, good girl, go potty, go potty, yes. Like reinforcing the go potty cue with her going potty. And then we come back inside and I give her another treat. And that might sound excessive in treats and don't worry, we don't give treats anymore for that. You will eventually phase those out. But in the beginning, that is the best way for us and for Freya to be reinforced and for her to understand what we're asking her to do. And I would say it took about like three days, honestly, for her to catch on for what let's go potty meant. But she has started. I think she's still kind of scared of it, but she knows what she's supposed to do. But I've gotten her to like ring the bell with her nose like three times. And so I'm gonna see if she'll do it. Let's go potty. She touched it, it didn't ring. Let's go potty. <gasps> good girl, yes, good girl. Good girl, let's go potty. And she was, again, eight weeks old. But again, we were doing this every hour. So for three days, we were doing this 24 times every day. It was really quick for her to catch on. If you're working with an adult dog who doesn't go potty nearly as often, it might take a little longer, but you can keep practicing and do it more. But for a puppy, it's so easy to teach because you're gonna be going potty so much. Now for what I would think is the most important part of all of this are my four top rules for Bella training your dog to go potty that I think made a difference for us that I would suggest for sure doing to ensure that this works every time, that this is like foolproof for you and your dog. The first rule is going to be quite annoying because once they do pick up what is happening and especially with her because she loves treats so much, she would pick up that she would get treats when she would ring the bell. However, that's not what the bell means. To really drive home what the bell does mean, you have to listen to it every single time. So every single time they ring that bell, you have to take them outside to go potty. And I will guarantee you, there will be a chunk of time where your dog thinks that ringing the bell gets them treats or just gets them to go outside. I think this dog is too smart for me guys because she's officially learned what the bell means. And we've gone back and forth from outside to inside like four times just cause she wants to come outside. <laughs> Cause she's not going potty. Every time I bring her inside, she just runs back to the bell, rings it. So I take her outside cause I want her to learn that that means come outside. But now I just think that she just wants to hang out in the sun. And it's gonna be annoying to take them out that frequently. However, we did it every single time. But you have to stay consistent with what the bell means to you and what you want it to mean. Cause to them, they're still feeling that out. They're testing the boundaries for what the bell means. They know that they get to go outside and they get treats when they go potty, but does the bell mean they just get to go outside and then they get another treat if they go potty? Like that's what they're trying to figure out in their brain. So you need to hone in on what does the bell mean so that way they understand it. So there was definitely a chunk of time that Freya just rang the bell all the time. Like she would go potty, come back in, ring it again. and we would do this for like 10 minutes and I would take her outside every single time. However, that takes me to tip number two. We would do the same thing whenever she would ring the bell to go outside. I would take her to her spot where she would go potty and we would sit there until she went potty. I didn't make this a fun experience. I didn't make it a game. We didn't play in the yard. We didn't go on a walk. We didn't do anything else except go to a spot where she could go potty. And then I wait there. If you know five minutes goes by and she's trying to play or she's trying to run around or she's just not going potty, I don't praise her. I really don't give her any attention. And I I take her back inside and I don't praise her when we come back inside. There's no treats involved in any of that. Let's go potty. Yes, good girl. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Good girl, go potty. Yes. Good girl, go potty. Yes. Good girl. And after a while, after a couple weeks of playing this game back and forth with her, she got the hang of it. And now she doesn't ring the bell to just go outside anymore. She knows that the bell means to go potty because I don't allow it to mean anything else. If every time she rings the bell and she gets to go outside and play like fetch with you, play frisbee, go on a walk and go potty sometimes, the bell's gonna mean so many things to your dog and you probably don't want it to. That's up to you. But for me, I strictly use this as a way for me to know if she has to go potty. So I don't want her to ring it when she just wants to go on a walk. I decide when we go on a walk. She decides when she needs to go potty. Like that's all that means. So that's the only time that she gets praised. That's the only time she gets treats. And that's all that that means to do. But I am going to take her out every single time she rings it because she needs to know that if she does ring it, we are going to go outside to give her the chance to go potty. My third tip is to make sure that you are being smarter than your dog. And by that, I just mean to start phasing out that high value reward, whatever that may be for your dog. Once you realize that they're catching on and they know what's happening. As soon as I would notice that Freya would go and ring the bell, 
well to then go potty and she did that consistently for a few days, I started to wean back the treats because she knows what it means and this is the standard. This isn't, you know, a trick. This isn't a command that she always gets treats to do. This is just something that she has to do. And so just kind of picking up on your dog's mannerisms or like noticing when they're catching on and starting to pull back some of the training side of it. You don't want to just the first time they do it, you're like, oh, cool, we're done. No more treats, no more training it. Like you want to keep doing it, especially if you're working with an eight week old puppy. And eventually you'll phase out the treats from coming inside after going potty. And then you'll phase out the treats from going potty, of course, after they're potty trained. And then you'll phase out the treats from them ringing the bell. But this all happens like slowly and all dogs are different. Some are going to learn really quickly. Some are going to take a little bit longer. Brea took again, like a month in total for me to like trust her with this, but it definitely could take longer. So be patient, give your dog some grace, give them some time to learn this and phase them out as they're ready. But I absolutely love this trick because it is foolproof for letting me know that she needs to go potty. Like I haven't had to watch her since she was about three months old or so to see if she's gonna have accidents in the house. Like once she learned to ring the bell and that meant to go outside and go potty, like I have given her full trust of not having to have my eyes glued on her because I need to watch for signs of her going potty or even adult dogs, they might still like show signs that are hard to pick up on, that are hard to be really obvious cues that they have to go potty. I would rather have her ringing bells than like circling and whining around the house or even barking at me or me still having to watch her for signs that she has to go potty, like sitting by the door. Like that's not as obvious. If I'm in the back on my computer or laying in bed, I'm not gonna see her sitting at the door waiting to go potty. Like this is so foolproof for me and for her that a bell ringing, that sound means that she needs to go potty. And I can hear that from anywhere in this apartment, but you do have to give them time to learn this behavior. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that that was helpful for you or explains a little bit more on how we taught her to ring the bells to go potty. If you guys have any questions or something that I didn't go over as clearly as you guys would like, please comment them down below or slide in my Instagram DMs or whatever, because again, I'm not a dog trainer, so I might not explain them the best way possible, but this is just what worked for Freya and I and how we taught her to ring the bells. If you haven't yet already, make sure you subscribe down below for weekly training videos, monthly pup date videos, and then of course just, you know, vlogs of my life if you guys wanna like hang around. You guys can also follow me on Instagram because of course there's constantly cute pictures of Freya on there and videos, farmer's market trips, all of that fun stuff. But I love you guys so much more than you'll ever know and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Say bye.